This is so perfect. Two golden, two black, one red. That's three, four, and that's gonna be almost 5,000 gold. And I'm able to do this in like about 10 minutes. That is really nice. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Force here with some more Sea of Thieves. So recently, I've been looking into the best way to make gold as a solo player. I've talked a lot about skeleton forts, and they're certainly a great payout, but they're really risky. Playing as solo, it can take a while. There's always gonna be other people showing up, and sometimes you could spend over an hour Hour trying to clear a skeleton fort and not even get it if you don't have any friends or backup playing with you. So when you're just playing solo, what's the best way to make gold? Well, we know about the shipwrecks. Those are great opportunities to get a ton of gold really quickly. But for the voyages, it looks like the Merchant Alliance is going to be the go-to thing. Looking specifically for golden or black tier animals, which are the two highest tier of animals that give the biggest payout, you just kind of shuffle through voyages until you get those on the list, meaning that you're going to get the biggest reward. So I spent a bunch of time with it this afternoon. I want to show you a bit of what that looked like to give you a clear idea. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the plan is get and cancel a bunch of Merchant Alliance voyages just to accumulate a bunch of crates and then capture as many golden animals as we can and then try to turn them all in quickly and basically see how how good that is at getting gold essentially. Our hunt for the golden animals in Sea of Thieves. So let's see. Collect steak baskets. So there's four crates. Okay. This one's four animals. Oh, it does have a golden pig on it and a golden chicken. Shit, because that's exactly what I'm looking for. Golden quest. Golden is the highest tier of animals. So these are the animals that will give you the most, most value. So this one I need chickens and pigs. Let's see where we're at. We're right by Daggertooth Outpost. So where do we got chickens and pigs? By Daggertooth Outpost. Uh, chickens and pigs just south of me at Shipwreck Bay. There's a bunch of maps online. People have been posting them on Reddit and everything for all the animal locations. The basic method is um, cancel quest to stack up crates. Now, I only have a few crates here because on my second quest, I got two golden animals. So I just want to do this. But the idea is you cancel voyages until you get, a, you get a bunch of crates. And then you just go after golden animals, fill up all of your crates with golden animals, and then keep spamming voyages until you get voyages with golden animals. Golden animal, golden animals as part of the registry. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. So I need a golden pig and a golden chicken. Let's see. Is that a golden pig? What is this one? There he is. There are supposed to be chickens here. I wonder if it's either or. Oh, here we go. All right. I should stack up these golden chickens now that I found some. So there was a bunch of golden chickens over there. So let me loop around for them. There's a golden chicken right there. Let's just stick with this for now, though. So where do we need to go for this? Galleon's Grave Outpost. There it is. All right, I thought I saw golden snakes. I thought I saw a golden snake, at least one. <gasps> okay, all right, sorry. Jesus. I didn't know you were gonna do that while you were in your cage. <laughs> It scared the shit out of me. I'd never seen that. I think I'm filled with the golden chickens. Yeah, all four of my crates. Nice. What's the matter, Piggy? What's the matter? I don't know. I really I just want to keep feeding them because I'm scared. All right, one pig, one chicken is what we're doing here. So let's see what we get. Nice. 1,500. So this is a cool 3K, just like this. I can definitely see, yeah. This I can see how this is going to be good. So we remember we're just looking for golden rewards. If they're not if they're not golden, we just collect the cages and we move on. See, th 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 this is what's this is what's really funny about this. I didn't even think about this. Every other mission type, you don't know what your reward's gonna be. You don't know the tier of reward you're gonna get. Imagine if you saw at the beginning of a loot hoarder mission whether you were gonna get a stronghold chest or a castaway chest or seafarer's chest. If you saw ahead of time that you were just gonna get seafarer's chests, you would just cancel it. That's exactly what this is. You get to see what what the value of your reward's gonna be before you do it. It's actually pretty, that's pretty cool. Cause if I, if I see my rewards are just seafarer's chest or like basic chickens or pigs, I can be like, nope, canceling that and going to another one. Yeah, I can't believe I never thought of it this way. This makes, this makes perfect sense how this could be the, the best way to make gold solo. I totally understand it now, th now that I've actually thought about it. I'm coming. Oh, we got a shipwreck there too. Let's grab that. Let's check this out. See if that galleon cleared it already. Nothing in the captain's quarters. Here we go. 
one skull to start. Uh, is that it? Oh, that's a skull. All right, go get that skull. Let's continue what we were doing here. All right, start up the voyages. Black and red, eh, nah, kind of cancel that. Black is good, but um, you really want, you want gold. If I don't have gold, I cancel it. But if I get one with black and gold, that's probably a keeper. Two golden chickens, look at that. Plunder outpost, got it. And a black plume chicken, I think I've got the black as well. Two golden and a black, this is what we were looking for. Look at that, this is gonna be an easy, Almost 4k gold, piece of cake. I'll grab a, a two blacks. So I need another black and a red. I'll grab that on the way out. All right, where are we going to? We're going uh, Plunder Outpost. Grab some chickens on the way. Man, what a that that, that is a quest. That's the kind of that's exactly why we do this. This is gonna be a nice big payout, super fast. Unbelievable. Two black, two gold, and a red. That should be that should be around 4k. Actually, that'll be that might be close to 5k. That might be that might be about 5k gold. Tri Rock Isle's got chickens. We could grab that. I need just one black and a red speckled. I think this is Tri Rock Isle. Hello, hello. Is this Tri Rock? Yeah, it is. Alright, so I need um one black and one red, and then man, this is gonna be this is a quick 5k. This is exactly the type of thing that we were setting up for in doing this. We were setting up for a moment just like this. Yeah, so one black. We already have the two golden. We've got one black. We need one black and one red. We were just here a moment ago and there were chickens. There's the black and there's a red. Perfect. Right, so now we just head... Head to, head to turn this shit in. This might be the quickest 5k you'll ever make. Plunder outpost. Yeah, so golden animals are the most valuable tier of animals, and the nice thing about Merchant's Alliance compared to other quests is that when you start the voyage, you see what your reward is going to be. It tells you what you're turning in. So only do voyages that have golden. Golden and black are the two highest tier of animals. So if you accumulate golden and fill them up on your ship, and then only turn in voyages that have golden and black rewards, you're, you're guaranteeing yourself usually between three and five thousand gold but yeah this is this is seems to be the best way to make gold outside of skeleton forts but even skeleton you could argue it's better than skeleton forts because skeleton forts are so risky with other players this is so perfect two golden two black one red that's three four that's gonna be almost five thousand gold and i'm able to do this in like about 10 minutes that is really nice this is like the ideal, this is the ideal situation. This is exactly what you're looking for from doing this spamming to try to get golden animals. If you can get a voyage with more than one golden animal or golden animals and black animals, the two highest paying tiers, GG, some nice payout. So I usually, um, I've been prioritizing grabbing the golden animals, but really gold and black are the two most valuable. So I would grab those whenever you see them. Gonna collect my 5,000 gold here and be on my way. All right, let's turn this in. It's gonna be the, one of the easiest five thousand gold I've ever made all right here we go two golden two black and the red speckle yeah about 800 so as you can see that was a nice payout about 4500 gold for one one quest that's a, that's basically the reason why we started doing this whole thing that's pretty dope Thank mm -hmm. you.